Hey Rangers fans, we are here today on Future Friday with Carl Henriksen. Uh, we saw him last summer a couple times and then at World Juniors this past December and January. So first of all, Carl, thanks for joining us. How are you holding up over in Sweden? Uh, I'm doing good. I mean, it's it's a special situation in the in the world, but uh, I'm I'm doing good so far. So kind of tell us how you've been handling the last couple of months with the seasons being shut down, um, kind of not being up to your usual routine. Just what have you been doing to keep busy? Uh, I've been playing a lot of golf. Uh, mm-hmm. Gotten to spend uh, a lot of time with my, with my family at, at home. Uh, and then I've been playing a lot of uh, paddle tennis as, as well. Awesome. So how have you managed to stay in shape with all this going on and probably less ice time than you're used to? Just how have you been been able to stay in shape through all of that? Uh, we actually train right now. So we here in Sweden, we could uh, we train with the team uh, right now. So we okay. we're actually keeping, yeah, keeping it pretty good. Awesome. Um, so here's a good question to kick us off from our fan Tyler. He wants to know, just for fans who aren't familiar with your game, how would you best describe it? Uh, I would describe myself as a yeah, smart, smart player. Uh, I like to make, uh, make my teammates better by yeah, work hard and, and make smart plays so uh, they could uh, yeah, get more time with the puck and, and so Okay, Jeff wants to know, who is currently your favorite player in any league? Uh, it's always been uh, Niklas Beckstrom. Uh, uh, he reminds me, yeah, how I want to be as a player. And uh, he's just such good uh, hockey IQ. And uh, yeah, I like to, to watch him. Good stuff. Uh, Tim wants to know, which parts of your game heading into next season are you looking to improve on the most? Uh, I mean, I need to get uh, yeah more explosive, uh, moving uh, up a step to the seniors now here in Sweden. So, uh, more explosive, and then my my shot uh, has to get yeah much much quicker and and better. So let's think back to last summer a little. Um, I know you weren't able to be there, but Anthony wants to know how did it feel getting drafted by the Rangers and kind of take us through that moment as you experienced it kind of from afar. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, uh, Rangers is yeah, it's a special club, uh, a real classic club, and uh, much because of Henrik uh, yeah, Lundqvist, it's for many people the biggest uh, club here in Sweden, so it, it was just fantastic. That's awesome. Um, so speaking of Henrik, you play with Frölunda, and there is another Lundqvist on that team, his brother. Yeah. Can you kind of talk to us a little bit about your relationship with him, and has he gave you any hints about what it might be like to play in New York one day from what he's heard from Henrik? Just kind of talk us through that that relationship. I mean, he's, he's a real, uh, real captain, and uh, I mean, he's the leader of of the team that I'm going into now. So, I mean, just the way yeah, he trains, I think he's the most serious person I ever met. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I haven't haven't talked to him much about uh, Air Rangers and, and his brother, I think. Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, so I think I'm gonna, I know the, what the answer is gonna be for this one, but One of our fans wants to know, which Rangers prospect do you keep in touch with the most during the season? Uh, I mean, Nils uh, Lundqvist. (laughs) We uh, played at the the juniors uh, together there in for Sweden. Uh, So we've been keeping contact uh, by there. And uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's such great. uh, Yeah, how good season he has uh, been having in, in Luleå and in uh, in Sweden so it's it's fantastic so let's talk about Mills for a second you got to spend a little time with him last summer at the world junior summer showcase even though he ultimately wasn't able to play um and then you obviously got to play with him at world juniors so just talk to us a little bit about him and his game and kind of what makes him a special player I mean I noticed that when you when you played with him just 
the passes he makes always on the tape and uh, he sees those little plays that that makes it easier for the for the other guy that uh, yeah, gets the puck and I mean uh, off the ice he's just super calm and super kind and so but uh, on the ice he's a he's a real competitor and yeah fires up sometimes but it's <laughs> it's just great so we had a chat like this with him a couple weeks ago and we asked him whether you or he is a better soccer player and he was very quick to say it was you so he told us that is it true that you could have gone pro in hockey or soccer and you had to make this choice a couple years back about which which one you were going to pursue yeah i i don't know if i could have gotten pro <laughs> but uh i was i was pretty good in soccer uh wasn't the most uh, technic technic one maybe, but uh, yeah, run a lot and uh, had that smartness that uh, is my strength in hockey. So uh, yeah, I was pretty good, but uh, yeah, he has a pretty good good touch as well, actually. <laughs> so yeah. So let's think back to last summer and then last winter, kind of the process of you becoming part of the World Juniors team for Sweden. Just how gratifying was it for you to kind of go through that that training process in the summer and then in the winter and finally make the team and be able to have that experience? Yeah, it's it's a dream. You you dreamed as a little shy to play for the uh, Sweden and the World Juniors, and you uh, were up at nights where you shouldn't mm -hmm. actually. But uh, I mean, it it was so much bigger than you expected anyway but it, it was a fantastic uh, experience and uh, yeah we managed to to get a bronze uh, unfortunately we lost Russia in the semi-finals but uh, yeah it was fantastic experience good stuff Mike wants to know what is the best advice you've ever received hockey related or otherwise uh, I mean I always had so much fun playing both both soccer uh, hockey and, and golf. I always uh, think that I have the most interest in uh, in everything I I've done, and always could kept going for for many hours. And I think my my parents is a big reason for that. And uh, yeah, the the advice they they give me is they are supporting me, and I think it's uh, it's nice that they uh, they won't uh, put much much pressure on me because that pressure I put on myself and it's it's nice when they just support me so I think yeah, my parents is my yeah best advice. Awesome. Alexa asked us had did you watch the NHL a lot growing up or was there another league you watched growing up in Sweden? I mean it, it was most Sweden because mm -hmm. uh, NHL was always playing uh, at nights and so uh, I mean, uh, but you watch many highlights, and I mean, you watch the Olympics many times, and you watch yeah, most uh, Sweden leagues, I think. Okay, Mark wants to know, what was your experience like being able to come to Traverse City last year? Kind of an unusual situation um, that you were able to come, but just what was it like to be able to participate in that tournament and wear a Ranger sweater uh, for those for that week there? Yeah, it was it was great. Uh, was a little bit sp yeah, special. Was the only Swede there, but uh, the guys in the team took uh, yeah, well care of me. And uh, I haven't actually heard of the tournament uh, yeah, much before, but it, it seemed to be a a big tournament, and uh, the quality on the ice uh, was good, and it was real special to put a Rangers game shirt uh, on. So yeah. So you obviously got to spend some time with the prospects last summer, but just being able to play with them in those kind of high stakes situations in Traverse as well. How much closer did that bring you to, to some of those guys who could be your teammates somewhere down the line? Uh, of course, it, it got me closer. Uh, I mean, it was fantastic. I got to play with uh, Kako and... Uh, uh, Vitali in one game and it it was just so fun and uh, they were so good and uh, Fox as well was incredible at the tournament so it was uh, yeah much fun and of course you 
you find to know them a little bit at, uh, as persons uh, as well. So having had the opportunity to play with those guys like Kako and Fox last summer and then maybe being able to watch them a little bit over the last year as they've taken this step in their career, um, just how cool is it to, to know that not only, you know, did you get to play with them once already, but someday you might be playing with them as well um, in that same situation. Just how cool is that to watch that evolution from afar? I mean, when you're in it, you don't think uh, as much uh, about it. But I mean, sometimes when you think about it, you think it's it's pretty cool, uh, cool, mm -hmm. and uh, see how good uh, they've been been doing and so. So yeah, it's it's cool. Awesome. Um, Nick and Joey both asked us the same question. Outside of Backstrom, because I know he's your favorite, but is there anybody aside from him that you try to model your game after? Uh, I mean, small, small centers. I try to uh, to watch a lot. I mean, Sebastian Ao uh, in mm -hmm. Carolina, Braden Point. Uh, I mean, I watch. I try to watch how they play the game, and so. Good stuff. Okay, Zevi wants to know. Um, and when you think about the past year and the strides that you've taken, you know, since Traverse and maybe even since World Juniors ended, how do you think that you've most improved your game? Uh, I think I've gotten much, much more comfortable uh, on playing and uh, much more stronger on the puck uh, because you have, have to be it in the in the seniors and uh, yeah in the world juniors. So I think uh, yeah, strong on the puck and just uh, uh, yeah, more comfortable. Awesome. And this is our last question of the day. It comes from Andrew. And if you need to take a second to think about it, that's fine. But what would yeah. you say is your best hockey memory so far, your best moment that you can think of? Uh, that's pretty easy, easy actually. <laughs> uh, we got to, uh, to win uh, the U18 World Championship uh, in Sweden in front of uh, yeah, 6,000 fans. So that's, that was a yeah, special moment. And... Uh, uh, Lucas scored uh, scored a hat trick as well. So, uh, yeah, that was a, just a crazy moment. Awesome! I remember we got to meet Lucas last summer. Good player, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, Carl, thank you so much for joining us all the way from Sweden. Our fans are going to be super excited to hear your answers to their questions. So, thanks for taking the time to do this with us. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you.